Dear students, in this unit we will talk about phylum Nematoda. Nematodes are also called as round worms and they play a very important ecological role as they are present in the ecosystem as decomposers and they also ingest bacteria and they decompose the soil and make it more fertile. Now, Many of these nematodes, they eat bacteria and other uh, species, including fungi. Nematodes, they are numerous and they are widely distributed in soil, as well as in marine and freshwater environments. A uh, spade full of soil may contain more than millions of these microscopic nematodic worms. One of the classical examples of phylum Nematoda is Cenerobditis elegans or C. elegans, which is a very small, microscopic, free living soil nematode. It is a very important organism. As you can see, its body is transparent and there is a definite mouth, and this tail contains the anal part of this organism. This C. elegans is normally present in the temperate soil environment and it is very important model research organism for biologists in order to study the genetic controls of development because it has very few genes present inside it. Now commonly these nematodes are referred as non-segmented roundworms or threadworms or pinworms. They are widely distributed in all environments, mostly aquatic or terrestrial. They can be parasitic or they can be free living. Their body is elongated as you can see, this is a long body, which is uh, this foiled in the form of S here in this diagram. And it is cylindrical, unsegmented body, just like worms. And it is bilaterally symmetrical and trapping at both ends. Trapping and both ends means they are both sides, mouth and anus, they are small as compared to the middle body of these organisms. Now, when we talk about the species which have been identified so far, there are 28,000 species of nematodes which have been explored so far. Their digestive system is complete with a distinct mouth and anal part, and their nervous system, it is not very much developed. It only consists of a circumpharyngeal ring and longitudinal nerve cord. So it is at a very primitive state at the moment. Now, more than 50 species of nematodes or the roundworms, they are human parasites. It includes Ascaris. You can see this one is the Ascaris, which is present in the intestine as a parasite of uh, humans. And uh, we have hookworms, pinworms, and trichina worms. The common intestinal parasite, Ascaris, it spends its adult life in the human intestine where it ingests partly digested food. Ascaris is a white worm you can see in this diagram. It uh, could be about 25 centimeter long, and the mature female could produce as many as 200,000 eggs per day. When we talk about the hookworms of phylum Nematoda, they attach to the lining of the intestine and they suck blood. They could cause serious tissue damage and loss of the blood, in, especially in the kids. Pinworms are the most common worms found in children. These tiny pinworms eggs are often ingested by these uh, children by eating with hands not properly washed or contaminated with these pinworms. Humans typically become infected with the trichina by eating undercooked infected meat of pork, etc. So these trichina, they are present in the uh, meat of pork or other animals, especially the wild animals, and if the meat is not properly cooked, they can be transfected to humans and they start living as parasites and they could induce a huge loss in terms of different diseases.